Yo, <clears throat> what's happening, folks? Mm. Box number one. Let's see. Just packing peanuts. What do we got in here? Looks like bottles. They're a little bigger than I uh, had thought they would be. Kind of like those smaller bottles, actually. At least for experimenting and stuff, you know. Alright, some big ass bottles. It's like 30 mils. Cool. This package number one. Package number two. Wait, what the hell is in here? Ah. Check out this knife, by the way. It's Damascus steel. Cool. All right. Okay, so I was right. Apparently, I guessed correctly. This is the Diptyque Velocicos. Which is cool, man. I've been looking forward to this. Big bottle. I thought it would be a little smaller. Look at that. It's almost full. I got it. I think I got it paid like 60. I think it goes for like 120, 150. Not a bad deal. All right, well let's let's check it out, huh? Mmm. Ooh, that's different. Okay. A little aftershave type of action going on. It's a uh, it's a uh, little towelette. Okay, that's cool. Very figgy. Wow. It's an intense fig. I like it. Uh, it's nice, nice to have a nice uh, surprise. Yeah, I like it. Definitely an interesting uh, warm weather kind of fragrance there. Definitely very into it. It's kind of, it's got like a real nice fig. Kind of a sweet fig. It's uh, got a nice green, kind of woody, figgy opening. Ooh, and there's some, some coconut in there. It's like the, the coconut chunks, you know? Mmm, like the sweet shredded coconut. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's good shit. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good purchase. All right. Let's check out what people say about this and uh, let's see the, the Fragrantica info. So, Philosicos by Diptyque is a woody aromatic fragrance for women and men. Philosicos was launched in 1996. Those behind this is Olivia Gio Cobetti. Top notes of fig, fig leaf, middle notes green and green notes and coconut. And base notes are fig tree, woody notes and cedar. The, I doubt this is going to be a real strong performer, but oh well. Uh, so people are, it's, it's kind of gone up and down in popularity. It's about as high as it's ever been now, though. Uh, the longevity, it's saying moderate to weak. Uh, I, can, I can already tell that. Moderate to intimate, siage. Uh, unisex or leaning female. Uh, price okay or a little overpriced. All right, so that's all sounds negative, but I will tell you this: I like the smell a lot. Yeah, I, I really like the smell. It's good. Uh, so what are people saying about it? They're saying summer or spring, daytime fragrance. Ah. Uh, One says it's a little bit like Dune by Dior. Uh, Philosicos might be a little more toned down. Someone says a big no for me. I smell tomato, and it reminds me of when I used to dislike tomatoes. Okay, whatever. Realistic figs in a perfume bottle. But I'd rather buy a kilo of real figs. Okay. So Juliana says, unique and addicted smell. Fresh scent with green notes, wooden notes, natural fragrance. Deep quiet has no bad fragrances. Oh, you mean diptyque? <laughs> Deep quiet, that'd be a good name for a fragrance. The Lassicos is one of the best scents I've ever smelled. It's not just a perfume, it's an experience. Memories of walking under green fig trees after an early fall shower. It truly captivates the essence of raindrops and green leaves. It's green and fresh at the beginning, and it retains that feeling throughout. But with added creaminess and slight gourmand sweetness from coconut and fig. However, the dry down is a little masculine for my taste. I am not sure that I want to smell like that, but I will definitely cherish my sample. Yeah, boy. This is a good one. It's right up my alley because it's unique. It's fresh, but it's not at all normal blue kind of fresh fragrance. It is very green in the opening. 
green and figgy. Oh, it's, it's, it's lovely, delectable. Someone says, an ultimate summer staple, a fragrance you cannot go wrong with in the summer. On me, it opens up with a burst of freshness. It's like an aroma of the atmosphere near the fig trees, just right after the storm and heavy rain. You can literally smell the juice getting out from the trees and fig leaves. There are only a few fig fruits that fell from the trees after the storm. <laughs> you can barely smell the aroma of those fruits. Okay. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people not like it. No, I like it. Let's check out the... Uh, Eau de Parfum. This is an older bottle. Because uh, on here the label is black. Yeah, not saying not great, uh, Siage. I love it. It's got fig sap. I've never really smelled fig sap, but it smells realistic. I don't know. It smells like a natural fig. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm glad I have a, a little diptyque in the collection. and I think this is the one to get. Velasicos. Yeah, baby. I like how you can see the label through the other side. Yeah, that's nice. Good old French perfumery. You can't go wrong. If it's French, you're going to like it. It's going to be good. Even if it's not great, if it's French, usually it's going to be good. Yeah, the only the only really downfall of this is it's it's not real strong. 
But it's a nice, I still smell it. It's a nice faint smell. This is a great one, I think, when I'm going to wear this a lot when I, when I don't really want to wear anything. But I just kind of want to smell it myself. Just spray it right here. Smell it. This might be one of those fragrances that's kind of for me. I kind of feel like smoking a cigar. Yeah, I do. I think I'm going to eat breakfast or finish eating breakfast. I had my sardines today. I worked out today, cleaned the apartment today. I'm also going to start working on uh, making something with these. So I'll do another video. All right. Have a good one.